Hi, Cameron here with the See Better's channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Vive Pro Fresno lens and learning how to replace it with the Gear VR lens, which enhances clarity. Right now we're looking through the Vive Pro lens, Fresno lens, and you can see on the edge of it there's banding, um, there, the circular pattern on the lens kind of distorts the image. And this is this is another view. You you kind of see the rings around it. And the net effect of this is you, when you get your eye center just right in the center, you kind of have a pretty good sweet spot. But still on the edges, you get kind of banding and blurriness, which can really take you out of your immersion. And you can see some of that banding happening uh, on this stock lens. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, 3D print. Uh, new holder for the Gear VR lens and you'll need a Gear VR and I think the model number is SMR323 and this print can be found on Thingiverse and I want to thank uh, the guy who built it he's active on the reddit forums and uh, I'll put a link down to his thread below but um, he's got a great he's made some revisions to that 3d printed uh, Gear VR lens holder and it allows you to use the Gear VR lenses which are much clearer they're not Fresnel and they work really well so here we're opening up the Gear VR and like I said it's SMR323 model and our goal is to release the tabs that hold the lenses in order to get a better angle you can actually see that where the tabs release there's three of them down in where the lens is but uh, just in order to get a better angle at it and take this frame off, I'm going to just show you how you do that. Pop off each of the corners and that will reveal screws. And in the center here there is kind of a little bit of a sticker and there's actually two screws behind this. You'll need a very fine screw to get in there. So whip out your precision screwdriver set. Now once you've removed all of the screws here, the frame comes off pretty easy. So just uh, give it a little tug there. And uh, I'm not too worried about this. Uh, this Gear VR is most likely going in the trash after this. I got this off of eBay for only about eight dollars. It's a 2016 version. So now that uh, you have a better angle at those tabs, we're just going to uh, use a little screwdriver and reach on in there and push in. And if you do it just right, you can see the lens just released right there, and now it'll come right out. And the nice thing about this is it was a brand new Gear VR, so these lenses are super clean and no scratches, so that's always good to have. So now we'll go ahead and do the other side. And there you go, you can see it, it release. So we're going to pull these these out and and take a look at them. Once they're out of the, the Gear VR, sometimes uh, the orientation can get a little bit tricky, just knowing which side uh, goes towards the LCD and which side goes towards your eye. And um, basically the secret sauce is look for the larger end. So you can see the domed end. That's the end that points towards the LCD. And the more flat end is the end that goes towards your eye. So now I get my uh, beautiful 3D print here. And that, that came off. That was one of the first things I 3D printed. So you'll want the flat end towards the skinny side of that adapter. There's two tabs that you can tuck it under. 
Now if you look at it right here, I'm actually aligning it the wrong way. So that's the round end out, and I want the round end in. So I flip it around here. And that that's a super important thing to get right. <laughs> Otherwise, A, you uh, might get poked in the eye because it will protrude way too much because that lens will pop in either way. So you need to make sure you're getting it right. But it looks good. I mean, uh, props to, to the guy who designed this adapter because it uh, worked perfectly. And there's our two new lenses in focus there. And they look great. I don't think, I mean, if, if someone coming in blind saw these inside the, <laughs> the, the Vive, they, they wouldn't know any, any difference. And we'll get to that. So, oh my gosh, it is super scary thinking you're about to, uh, potentially break your $800 HMD, but it's actually so easy to pop these Vive lenses out. It's ridiculous. I mean, look at this. So I'm just using a little bit of a screwdriver, get it on the corner there and look, see how easily that pulls out. Not super easy because I missed it, but uh, but if you had, have done it a few times, you just lift that corner and get a get a nail under it, and it comes right out. That's just a a flathead screwdriver. Uh, I I would avoid using an exacto knife, just because it can be too sharp, and if you slip, you're gonna slice your your lens. So that's the old Fresno lens popping that out. And there's that screen behind there, which is interesting to see. But now let's see how this adapter goes in. So you just want to line it up, be, um, get that flat end right in, in the right spot. Um, and it literally just slides right down into the socket there. Now I was kind of worried that it needed to snap down a little further, but uh, there's really, yeah, I mean, it's, it's in there. There's no place for it to go. And it looks great. So if you, even if you look at those right now side by side, you can see the left Fresnel lens is really quite frosted where the right one is really clear. So the other thing you want to do is um, wipe off your lens, and you especially want to wipe off the part of the lens that's going down into the unit. I did, I did that off camera, which made it was super clean because that's going to be in there forever. So here's a look with uh, turning it on for the first time. And it, it really looks quite good. You, um, as I get more shots here, you'll see, see the difference. I, I wanted to get this side-by-side -side shot because it, it's the most drastic. See those lines on the edges? Super clear with the Gear VR lens. Look at the, look at the start lettering. Look how clear that is even when it's on the edge. And now look at it through the Fresno lens. You can see that there's a little bit of banding. Um, it's just really hard to see things clearly. So now here's here's the other side, so you get another view of how easy these these Vive lenses come in and out. In fact, I think you could do it, and I don't think warranty would even be able to tell that you did it because they're. I don't even think there's any glue in there. It really didn't seem like there was any glue at all. It seemed like it was just kind of plastic fitted uh, tightly and it just pops into place and you know you're never going to get any internal force from inside the headset pushing it back out so that's that's as easy as it is I mean no special tools it's just just a screwdriver and you can you can do this replacement well <laughs> I guess the specialized tool would be the 3d printer because that's that's the kicker but um, like I say, you can order those that adapter if you don't have a 3D printer or know someone has a 3D printer. You can you can take that uh, file um, in the link and get that done. But but look how great this looks. I mean, it doesn't even. I mean, it it looks perfect. So here we go, uh, looking through the lens. And you'll notice that there's a few pieces of dust that I got in there. 
and don't don't worry um, that can happen in a second here I'll, I'll show you some footage I basically pop the lens off and spray it with uh, canned air and then pop the lens back on everything's super clear um, as you can see um, you're getting really wide edge-to-edge -edge clarity with these lenses so one of the things I found myself doing with my Vive and Vive Pro is instead of kind of looking around the scene, I would usually just turn my head to focus uh, because the center of of the of the view was the clearest point. So I I could see stuff in kind of the just the mid periphery of my eye, but I'd always turn my head a whole lot. So the the biggest difference with this mod was the fact that I could literally be in a scene and kind of look around with my eyes rather than with my head. And that was a huge game changer. So there I was just blowing out the dust. I seem to have, I don't know if there's a little bit of edge that rubbed off of the 3D print down into there, but uh, after I blew it out with candy and got that back in, it looks absolutely perfect. And that's one of the best things about this mod is it doesn't look, I mean, I mean, I'm all about the experience, but this one aesthetically looks really nice. You know, it looks looks perfect. Uh, one last thing I, I need to mention is there is a barrel distortion effect with these lens, but it can be mitigated by adjusting... Uh, your settings for Steam VR, and it's really easy to do. Um, in fact, I'll leave a link to the instructions on the thread where you can you can figure that out. It looks good without it, but but if you uh, what barrel distortion does is as you turn your head, it will almost look like there's it almost looks like you're kind of in a globe rather than in the scene. But with the uh, file that corrects that, I. I can barely, barely even tell that it's there. When I first put on the headset with the barrel distortion effect without applying that that modification, it was a little bit jarring. Everything was super clear, but it was a little bit as you would spin your head, basically things just um, morphed a little bit too much. So it was, but it was super easy to apply that. And I, I if I wasn't even looking for it, I probably wouldn't be able to tell. In fact, I, I don't think I can tell at all um, with that patch applied. And I think, it, you know, anything that's off about it can be fixed through just just uh, repairing that, just doing the right corrections. So um, it's perfect now. Um, well, not perfect, but <laughs> pretty much as close to perfect as, as it could possibly be. And I don't notice it at all. So I really feel like with this mod, I now have a Vive Pro top of the line with these lens update. It, I mean, it's it's amazing. It, it's it's really a great uh, mod to do. It, I mean, just the ability to look around a scene uh, with your eyes rather than your head, just because you're not compensating for clarity, is the biggest uh, point of this upgrade. And a lot of people, you know, really don't like the God rays. So this is a huge fix for that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and do more great videos all the time. So thanks for watching.